All right, welcome back. I have a question for you, and only I can answer. Wait, wait, no. Only I want the answer. <laughs> only I can answer it. I cannot answer it. Have you got a problem with your eye? Yeah, I do. So, was it an eye for an eye? Well, I mean, there was an eye Queer for a eye for the straight guy. <laughs> there was an eye for I a play. Play on eye. I think you need to answer this question. Are you going to let me? I permit this. <laughs> so, I was... Uh, <laughs> I? I was um, sitting on the couch watching Bill Cosby on the Cosby show because no internet, I had to watch DVDs. And the cat was sitting above me on the top of the couch, right? As you do. Yep. And the cat started to fall off said couch. And I turned to see what was going on. And I get it. At... <laughs> And at that moment, he decided he was about to fall, so he went and, oh, Marcus Phoenix, he went and smacked me in the eye with his claw. Luckily, I closed my eye. That looks fucking painful. It fucking hurt. I can only, I've only just seen it now. And I thought, okay, oh, he got me in the eye. And then it, like, I looked, I'm like, oh, I'm bleeding. I hope it's my eyelid and not my actual eye. And I checked, I'm like, oh, it's my eyelid, that's all right. Fucking hurt, though. Especially because, like, the blood dries and it, like, dries your... On your skin and then the eyelid sort of stuck a yep. little bit. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking painful. That's not fun at all. But yeah. Now you didn't need to do it. You literally need to do eye for an eye. You just poke him in the eye. Oh, well, he got a smack. You don't worry about that. He got a smack. He ended up outside the room very quickly. He soon found himself on the other side of the house. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> he ran away very fast. Oh, he got vacated. <laughs> It's probably the nicest way to put it. He was vacated from the the, uh, the room. Fucking Marcus Phoenix telling you to do things. I'm and curious you don't do it. what's in this package. So I'm going to open up. I'm surprised you haven't fucking opened it already. I'm going to open up a package. Hey, sniff mid, it. Mid, mid, mid thing. All right. Sniff it. Sniff I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this. All right, all right. Look at that. Look at that. He's holding the mic microphone for me. He's a lovely person, ladies and gentlemen. He's single. That's my nose. There's some robots. It's a shirt. Oh, I didn't get my fucking mug with it. Where's my mug? That's a big shirt. It's a... It says... Let me read it. It says... Schrodinger's Mimic. Every chest is both a mimic and a treasure simultaneously until opened. The Mimic shirt. That's in for D&D. That's a big fucking shirt. That is a big fucking shirt. You're going to have to grow into that. <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. I'll just wash it and chuck it in the dryer and hopefully it shrinks. Otherwise, I've got a really big fucking shirt. That you could wear it as a nightgown. You could give it to a girl. And I don't know what this is. It. It's my birth certificate because I had to order a new one. To prove that you're birthed. Yeah, I was supposed to get a mug with that, but the mug doesn't rock. All with right, your birth certificate? What a No, 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 with that shirt. Mug. That shirt smelled really bad, by the way. Could you smell that? No, I couldn't. You sure it wasn't me? Smell that. Oh, Jesus Christ, it smells like fucking... It smells like, like stale fucking chips. Yeah, you're right. Like, oh, poor Will. So we had an opening in our thing. I'd like to do other, like, sort of unboxing videos, but I'm too lazy for that shit. I don't really see the appeal of unboxing stuff. No? Nah. Why not? Because, I mean, you're going to see it anyway when you unbox it yourself. I mean, you're right, and some people might want to watch it. I mean, sure. I mean, if you've got some comedic value to it, yeah. But if you're just unboxing, like, hey, this is this, this is some this. Some people, do you know there's a channel specifically de dedicated to unboxing Lego? And that has, like, over a million subscribers. Okay, so I'm changing my opinion on this. I'm going to buy a Lego, and I'm just going to sit there and unbox it. Just open up Lego and say, here's a piece of Lego. And you know what the funny thing is? Here's another piece of Lego. I'm pretty sure the person that does it is a porn star. Oh, really? That's probably why they get their views. No, but I think that was only discovered until later, because... What was it? I'm pretty sure she was talking about the Lego, and a kid was watching it, and a dad walked in. And went, oh, what are you watching? He's like, oh, watching this, un uh, like, blah, 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 Lego thing. And he goes, I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how that would have went? <laughs> You're like, hmm, I know that voice. Let's Let me. Go. I've seen okay, that. Okay, Google. YouTuber that unboxes Lego that is a porn star. See if that is what, see if that comes out. I was about to say, see if that fucking. Former porn star is now a high earner on YouTube by unboxing Lego. What's her name? Uh, Diane DeJesus. To Jesus. Or the de, Asus. So she's a, de, a, a computer? De Asus. She and she made $5 million a year. On, you, on, on YouTube, YouTube or on porn? Hello. You're, you're seeing pictures of her in her porn days or? 
That's what I'm thinking. I think her porn days are all right. Yeah, not bad. Fucking not bad at all. Oh, that's better. That's in her porn days, and that's her now. Did she put on a bit of chub? Yeah, a little bit. She uh, she was probably the girl next door type of porn videos? Yep. And I oh, know she unboxes Disney stuff. Oh, okay. That's like, she does Play-Doh and... <laughs> unboxes Play-Doh to make yeah. dildos. <laughs> See what I did there? Sandy Summers was her name, apparently. Sandy Summers. Does that sound familiar? No. There's Coming from you. <laughs> Fucking... There's that many porn stars at the moment, I just can't keep up with them all. Especially when you've got no internet. Oh, you poor son of a bitch. How's that going for you? Oh, it's chewing up my data. It's chewing up my data. How's the uh, porn going, though? I've been avoiding it. <laughs> so I don't want to chew up all my data you using poor it on son porn. Of a bitch. Don't you have like 10 gigs, 12 yeah. gigs? Yeah, but I'm already at like 40%. Whoa! I, take it, these are I watch some YouTube videos on yeah. it occasionally. Yeah, you need to turn that off HD then. Oh, it, it goes straight to 480p. <laughs> you need to lower it down to 360 or f fucking 240. And I also like listen to a lot of Spotify. See, now, 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 what did I say about downloading stuff so it's down on offline? Spotify doesn't use that much. I always use Spotify every month. <laughs> Get fucking shit on. Hey, look, it's the old house, except it's not your old house. No, it's not my old house. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh, well. Shot the bust. That's a bit, that's a bust. Get it? It busted. You busted the bust? Myth busted. Hey, yeah. it's plausible. Do you know there's a myth, myth busters porn parody? And the no, myth, that doesn't surprise me. And the chick from Mythbusters has actually seen it. What did she think of it? She's like, it's not bad. <laughs> I'd like to see her do porn. Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll never happen. She has a kid now. She got pregnant. That's all right. Oh, Who would you like to do porn? I already know this answer. It's the chick that's on your screen. Damn right. And you know what the best thing is? I was sitting at a party last night and like my phone was between my legs and I looked down and it's just like... That view of her in between my legs, and Jacob's like, "Yeah, you wish that was your view." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I do." Oh, poor Corey. Did you get that video I sent you, or tagged you in, where she was like um, playing with her boobs and she's like adjusting oh, her boobs yeah. and she's like free to boobies or something like that? Okay. Um. Yes. I think I already seen it though. I was like, she was like laying in bed or something. I'm like, God damn it, Negri, just fucking either get them out or just stop teasing us. But she knows it works. The views. Yeah, well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look. Oh, here we go. Hey, look, that's one. That's yours on the first one there. <laughs> <laughs> this is stereotyping at its finest. Girl armor compared to guy armor. It's f Yeah, but, like, imagine if he wore it, like... <coughs> fucking covers his, like, just, just fucking... His pecs, that's about it. I like how they call but it. Look how big his fucking biceps are. <laughs> They're like Chris, Chris, um, Chris Red, Hemsworth. No, 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 no. Well, that Redfield. too. Uh, Redfield. Redfield. Thank you. I was forgot the fucking guy's name from Re uh, Resident Evil. Chris Redfield. Mm. Kind of feels like I'm wearing a door. <laughs> not a very, not a very large door. <laughs> I like how like on the breasts are like. Circles. Yeah, they are. Uh, but, you know, the guys have got it too on there. That's what I mean. Like, it's just for, like, there's circles there. It belonged to my mother. Be dead now. Oh, what's that? I, I like how the chick has to wear the one that belongs to his mother, the chick that he's interested in. You know? Fucking. Thanks, Del. Del had his bandana for some reason. Time to introduce the new cob to the old cob. I'm guessing he, um, had it, like, Look, have it to watch over JD. Probably, that would make sense. Grab what you need. Should you remember, Dell's his best friend, so Dell's the dom to JD. Damn right, he is the dom. So dom, you want dom, what you want to do? So you want to keep? See, so you got that Lancer rifle. You want to keep that to the end of the game because oh. you get an achievo for it. Cool. Cool. That there, you get an achievement for. So it's worth keeping. And plus, it's the fucking Lancer. You don't want to fucking get rid of it. I mean, there are better guns out there. Yeah, but like, at the end of the day, it's one you want to keep. Because 90% of the time, you want... It works every time. Yeah, exactly. 60% of the time, it works every time. It's a fucking fantastic gun. Is what Did you I'm just saying. make that up? <laughs> it is a fucking That fantastic. doesn't even make any sense. Sex Panther. Made from real Panther bones. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to drive a woman insane. 
That movie was fucking awesome. Have you seen the sequel? Yeah, it's not great. Oh. You know what? Fuck this. They said it works six percent of the time. Works every time. That doesn't make any. That even doesn't even make any sense. Love doesn't make sense, Ron. Now watch me do my work. We gotta get to my truck. Something smells like a baby diaper filled with the Indian food. I like this. We gotta get to the truck. Oh, the truck's blown up. <laughs> I love Marcus's voice. Like it's just like, fuck. I just like I just did that. Why do you have to be such a cunt about things? Now this, you gotta shoot. Smells like Bigfoot's dick. Oh, there's uh, an emergency. There's an emergency. An emergency. See, Gears of War reference. I, I got it. Right I get an it. Emergency. emergency. There's a re Gears of War reference there. I got it. Emergence. Because emergency day, and I'm emerge on you. Like, um, a, like, like a like a Leonard tornado. Cohen died. Yeah, he did. Just too up. Hallelujah. Fucking. Actually, did you hear that Matt uh, Matt Hallam did a rendition of yeah? Apparently, it was really touching. It was really touching. I watched it. Did you? I woke up just as it was going. Fucking. I wish I would fucking watched it. I'm still waiting for my internet to come back so I can watch it. I believe though. It's about time. About that time, eh, hey, chaps? Whatever. <laughs> fucking. Just as I get down. Whatever. So on. Marcus, come get me. I am your son. Right. Oh, he just walked straight past me. <laughs> Oh, go Dell, Adele. Jeez, Dell, right. fucking. We, we're gonna. We're, we're gonna, gonna do this we're gonna next do this. time on Dag Productions. So thanks for watching, guys. That's a piece of me and a piece of you. Fucking. Don't forget about that piece of poo. Boy, boy. Cease and desist immediately. I'll cease and desist you. Cease. Cease and, cease and desist. desist. You will do what I say when I say cease and desist. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>